I already showed you my pass. And you're still not cleared. I right, look, check it out. Let me through right now, or your official record won't be fit for polishing floors. What? Waste my time and I'll bury you so deep in citations, you'll die of paper cuts before you crawl out. Do you understand me? Oh no. You must be from Chairman Rockwell's office. I'm so sorry. No one told me you were coming. Chop chop. Please, go on through. And let's forget this misunderstanding, huh? Yeah. That's what I thought. Away from me, you heathens. I'm here on official business. What's going on, guys? Back at it again with another Outer Worlds video. So, in the last video, we were basically trying to get into this area. And in the meantime, in between this video and the last video, I realized that I ended up getting the key card. So, I might just have access. So, we're definitely going to go ahead and try it. And if we get attacked, obviously, we're going to have to find a separate way to get in. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Oh, God, dude. I hope I don't get shot here. Not so fast. The Ministry of Accuracy and Morale is off limits to everyone without X-36 level clearance. What level clearance? You're just making up words. <laughs> Basically, if you don't work here, or for Chairman Rockwell himself... Hey, I work for it. Rockwell. See? Here it goes. Here's, here's the clearance. I don't know how you got that, but I still don't know you. And I don't have any new clearances on the list. Damn it. Crap. Uh, so what now? Uh, there's got to be another way, man. Maybe I can go through here? Oh. Whoop. Time to reload. All right, so we know we can't talk to this dude. Crap, okay, so how do I do this? Maybe there's something on this computer. Oh, yeah, but it's freaking locked. Uh. Employee rights? What does it say anyways? Under the Bias Labor Standards Act? Wage determined by merit of your work. Overtime may result in higher pay if the quality of said work is considered exemplary. Your employer has the right to dock your pay should you damage any facilities uh, or equipment. It's your responsibility, not your employer's, to avoid workplace hazards. Halcyon Colony, Department of Labor. Let me see. Talk to me. If you see any sprats loose up here, no. Definitely. Carry on. No. Sorry, I no. Is there anybody in here with a name? No, these are all office clerks. Corporate commander. Well, we're definitely having some issues here. How do I put my name on that list? I think ultimately that's going to be the big issue. Let me see. Maybe I'm going to go ahead and talk to the dude. Downstairs again. Yeah. This person has a name. Sorry, I'm kind of in the middle of something. Oh, come on. All right, let me go talk to this person really quick. And see if maybe it updates something on my Not thing. So fast. What level? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's show him this. I don't know. Did it upgrade anything? Doesn't look like it. Crap. Alright, so let's go ahead and try to talk to this one lady again. Maybe some sort of dialogue changed since then. Sorry, I'm kinda in 
You suck, Caroline. Uh, all right, we're gonna have to leave. Yeah, we're gonna have to leave. I don't see a reason to stay here. Alrighty. So it kind of sucks that we got stuck. But I'm not really entirely sure how I'm gonna progress the mission. Well, I guess for now, let's go ahead and do Ellie's mission. Wait, which one was that? Yep, it's this one. So now we gotta go to Fallbrook. So wait, where's my intimidation skill at? Cause... Intimidation, 50. So if I get two levels, I should be able to put this up to 70. And then I could just intimidate the dude to death. But for now... Insurance office? You ever get the feeling Max is trying to convert you? Nope. I don't think I've ever listened close enough to tell. <laughs> Me either. I was in the mess the other night, kicking my boots up on the table. Just opened up my latest issue of Tales from Beyond, right? Oh my god, nobody cares. <laughs> it gets better. Max was there reading one of his dusty old scriptures, and he just gives me this look like I'm a stray cane had wandered into his church. <laughs> and he says, and he says, Son, do you know what you're doing with your life? Pulling that giant toss ball stick out of your ass? <laughs> <laughs> good one, Ellie. I gotta use that line. They they have a good chemistry. I like them together. Man, it's very disappointing, man. I really wanted to go ahead and go in there and do this stars mission. Do 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 do. OMG, hurry up. Well, the good thing is that we officially know. Oh, I thought this said secret access. All right. Oh, well, let's go. Ah, I'm stuck. I guess we could just go around killing things. So. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. Yeah, okay, whatever. So, off to Monarch we go once again. Fallbrook. Why is there three? Wait, we have to go to Fallbrook, right? Let me see. Uh, right here. In Fallbrook. Okay. Let's just go to Fallbrook. We're now in orbit above Fallbrook, Captain. Yes, we are. Wonder what they're doing. Let's go. Whoa, I almost jumped off this. That was a close one. I don't think we've ever... I don't think we've ever landed here. Yeah, I really don't think we've ever landed here. That's weird. I know we have been here though. Oh wait, we never. All right, let's see. Nothing. I'm kind of tempted to buy this and just give it to like Ellie or something. But nah. In here? This looks like the place. Ready to get my money or what? Welcome to the offices of the Greater Halcyon Insurance Group. Halcyon's premier provider of life and disaster related insurance. I'm obligated to inform you that our coverage does not extend to incidents deemed to result from negligence, criminal activity, or dullness of mind. You don't say. Duly noted. So, what kind of insurance package can I interest you in? We're running a special on dismemberment policies. Buy one, <laughs> get one half off. Wow, okay, uh, no. Uh, I need to change the beneficiary for Marilyn Fenhill's life insurance policy. I remember that one. That's the young socialite who broke her neck, right? 
Of course, no one remembers me for the marauders I've killed or the <laughs> I've stolen. Typical. That claim was airtight. Our best investigators couldn't find an exclusion for that one. Let's stay on topic. Oh, what else can you tell me? Are you serious? Absolutely. Well, we interviewed the parents extensively. They had plenty of awkward childhood stories that illustrated their daughter's clumsiness and capriciousness. <laughs> hey, those are entirely made up. Furthermore, the claim spurred a whole line of fashion-related policies. It's become a very lucrative market. Wow, okay. So, how would I amend that claim? You can't, of course. Only Miss Fenhill can assign her beneficiaries. And she said, if we let every friend, relative, and acquaintance change a policy like that, people would do it all the time. Imagine the paperwork. Uh, okay, but how would I change it? Oh, you mean hypothetically. Well, hypothetically, you'd access the terminal in the back room that contains data on all our policies. And you'd theoretically add the beneficiary of your choice. But you wouldn't actually do that, of course. That would be fraud. <laughs> of course I wouldn't. Uh... I think I'm going to bribe her. Hey, I got 2,090 bits here that say you can do it. I'm forbidden from accepting bribes, no matter how tempting. I won't tell. Look, uh, <laughs> look. Look at it as a fine that I'm paying in advance. The employee handbook doesn't say anything about that. Woohoo! Very well. I'll need the name of the new beneficiary. Um, Ellie Fenhill? If you say so. The payouts will flow exclusively into the new account at the start of the month. OMG. I hope Ms. Fenhill enjoys her newfound prosperity. Uh, that's all for now. Thank you. Captain, got a minute? Of course I do. We should probably talk over here. Okay, you know what? Let's talk. You really did it. Give these payouts a few years and I'll be rolling in it. Congratulations, Ellie. Hey, you did the real work. All I had to do was not be dead. <laughs> I'm just glad my folks aren't going to live off that awful story they made up. Maybe now they'll have to go back to real jobs. Uh, what are you going to do with all those bits? Come on. I thought we were celebrating. <laughs> you want me to think about the future? I mean, you might as well start now. Why not? Maybe you haven't noticed, but you can't even count on a bribe making it into the right pocket. What's the point of planning for anything around here? Uh, that's the kind of thinking that's uh, running this place into the crapper. Hate to say it, but Halcyon's already there. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, enough of that. You did a job for me, so here's your fee. Man, I got half of what I paid. I appreciate it, but I didn't do this for the money. Don't make it weird. Even you've got to be in it for the money now and then. Why else would you go through all this trouble? Because you're the homegirl. That's what friends do. You sure? Because my kind of friends will pick your pocket clean while they're getting hammered with you. Well, we're not the kind of friends. I'm a doer, not a talker. Let's just leave it at that. Now, you know what? Friendship is important. What else are we fighting for if not for the people we care about? You don't have to get all mushy about it. Oh, it's okay to feel, Ellie. Still, maybe you've got a point. Maybe it's good to watch someone's back now and then so that one day they watch yours. Exactly. So, you just keep the money. One of us has to look out for your interests. Thank you. Don't mention it. Really. This feels weird enough as it is. <laughs> well, let's go. How far does it does this game tell me how far I am from the next level up? I don't think it does. Wait, details maybe? Oh man, I still need a lot. 
I need two levels. God damn, dude, 168,000? Wait a minute, you know what I just thought about? Since I'm doing rifles again, I know there's a way that you can uh, respec on the ship. I just don't know where it is. So let's just go ahead and go in there and see if we can respec. And then we'll just take away all the points that I invested into pistols. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Vending machine? Where? Where, 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 where? Right here. Useless. Let's go. All right, now to find... To all crew members, there is only one toilet on the ship. Gross. All right, maybe it's in my office? Slash room? Slash house? What the hell is this? Okay. Let me see. No. So. I'm kind of confused. Does this place keep updating? Every time I do something in the thing? As far as missions wise? All right, let me see. Hello, I need a respect machine. Hey, shoulda get off the pot, damn it! Are you listening in there? You can't be on these facilities for forty damn minutes. I shouldn't have done that. You got a condition or something? What is this thing? Want to be a brand new you? Try out our respecification machine. This is it. All right, let's see. Would you like to spend 500? Yes. So first things first, I definitely want to put the 50 that I had in here. And then intimidate to 70. Everything into, well, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and put long guns. Oh, wait, yeah, I got to put this up first to 50 before I can start putting it up on long guns. And then we'll put long guns. We'll put this to, we'll put this to 80 for now. And then put the rest into persuade. And then whatever's left over, I suppose we'll put it into. Uh... Actually, you know what? We'll put the rest into long guns. And then whatever's left over, we'll put it into more dialogue options, I suppose. All right, we'll put this to s we'll put this to 70 as well. We'll put it to 75, 76, fuck it. And then 70, we'll put this to 80. Fuck it, right there. There, that's our that's our stuff. And then obviously we're going with toughness. Definitely uh that base armor. I think I had carrying capacity. All right, we'll call that for now. Let me see the negotiator. No. Yep, we'll just do that. Hmm. Dialogue plus 10. You know, well, fuck it, why not? Twenty percent extra damage. Sure, why not? I got three more. Let's see here. Anything interesting? We'll get that. Nothing. 
No. No. I don't know what else I'm going to put this on. Let me see here. Science weapon damage. No, thank you. I mean, I guess I could do this. Vendor prices. I'll just call it a day right there. Wait, did I... Reset theirs too? I did. That sucks. Okay. So I had that. Um. So for her range damage. Companion ability damage. Uh, showtime damage. Yeah, we'll do that. Ooh, yeah, right there. So Ellie's done, and then Felix is my other one that I needed. So first things first, definitely health. Let me see. So 10%, we'll do some armor as well. Companion. Okay, yeah, yep, that's it. I died. All right, let's go. Jump. Oh, I'm surprised I didn't break no legs. Well, let's go back to... I understand we have decided to continue supporting the outlaw scientist, Dr. Phineas Wells. Yes, we have. All right, let's go back to Byzantium. If all goes well, we should be able to finally do this mission. But now I'm officially a rifleman, which is fine with me because this gun is amazing. Wait, I never checked that over here. I just want to open this door and find out what's in here. I guess it can't open. So, sounds good. Let's go. Alright, so it was this way, right? And then we went up the elevator. Oh, Ellie, you scared me. This is the jam right here. Why do you guys always have to stare at me? You guys are creepy. I'm just your captain, all right? Don't get any weird thoughts. If you spit on my ship, I'm gonna slap the hell out of you. All right, let's see. How far is it? It's 250 meters. It's not too far, thank God, because this is gonna be very interesting. It's kind of confusing up here, to be honest. Alright, I'm jumping down. I'm actually happy that I haven't broken any legs or anything. Oh, quiet, you wealthy citizen. Hey, Ellie, how's your head? Still spinning? Spinning? Felix, the secret to surviving a good night is a big breakfast. Wait, what are you yammering about? I was just curious is all. What? You used to make a face whenever we talked, like you had a headache. Oh. <laughs> right now. It's because she's starting to like you. You're okay, but don't go rubbing it in, all right? All right, let's go. I wouldn't be surprised if they end up getting a thing together. All right, let's go. Wait. Like I said, X-36 clearance only beyond this point. I already showed you my pass. And you're still not clear. Alright, look, check it out. Let me through. Right now. 
or your official record won't be fit for polishing floors. What? Waste my time and I'll bury you so deep in citations, you'll die of paper cuts before you crawl out. Do you understand me? Oh no. You must be from Chairman Rockwell's office. I'm so sorry. No one told me you were coming. Chop chop. Please, go on through. And let's forget this misunderstanding, huh? Yeah. That's what I thought. Away from me, you heathens. I'm here on official business. Even though I have no idea where I'm going. I'm assuming this is an elevator. Did, did that do anything at all? I hear something. Open. Whoa. It's like I have magic. What? No nice elevator music? You disappoint me, Byzantium. Woohoo! Let's go, let's go. There we go. Alright, let's uh What's this I hear about you ordering more tests performed with sample four one five seven? That back failed spectacularly. I saw a variant I'm nervous. that we never accounted for, so I had to text run the trial again. Animal testing. Oh, fuck. Alright, let's go ahead and try to reload. Alright, maybe I can find... Like a key card or something. Let's be a little bit observant around here. Because last time, we had to do some stealthy stuff. There was literally something just sitting... Well, to be honest, it was everywhere. Please be in here. No. I'm not trying to steal anything. At least not until I find that key card. Or that thing that makes me disappear. No. Come on. I think we're going to have to go the stealthy approach. Take one final look around while that opens. I think I'm screwed. Oh, let's go. Let's go ahead and save it right here. Mainly because we're going to need to go stealthy. Shh, easy now. What's this I hear about you ordering more tests performed with sample 4157? That back failed spectacularly. I saw a variance in the results that we never accounted for, so I had the techs run the trial again. And the results were 0.003% different this time. Okay, then. The words statistically insignificant mean anything to you? Right now, I'm literally just looking around for one of those camouflage things. For some reason, I have a feeling that I'm going to be able to find one in here. Mr. Ouch. No, thank you. Come on, give me something useful, damn it. Not no damn lotion or whatever that was. No, I don't need no armor parts. It's over here. No, thank you. I don't think I'm going to find one. Oh, there it is. Woohoo! I am now camouflaged. Let's save it just to be sure. So we should be 100% camouflaged now. There we go. Now we're undercover. We should be fine and going and walking around everywhere. Awesome. Alright, so where are we supposed to go? That way. It's still nerve-wracking. What the fuck? 
No, you didn't. La 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 la. La 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 la. Crap. Okay. Let's reload. So it appears that even with our camouflage, we still have to be sneaky. So I guess high ranking people can see us. Kind of confused. Okay. So there's three people that's suspicious about us. I'm not really sure how the stealth mechanic works in this game, to be honest. But I got a feeling I'm gonna have to reload right now. All right, so I'm supposed to go that way. Oh no. I know I'm gonna have to reload right now. How do I get over there though? Hold up. This is gonna be locked, isn't it? Oh no, it's not. Oh, it looks like we're camouflaged again. Maybe. I don't want to risk it though, man. I'm nervous. That's barred, so I can't go through there. What? What's in here? What is this? And this is bypass. Okay. All right, we'll call it that. It's literally right on the other side of this door, man. How do I get over there, though? I'm willing to bet I could go around. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, no. We're no longer stealth. Where does this lead, though? Oh, we're here. So this is the exit. So we just basically went the wrong way. We just need to figure out how to get over there properly. But every time we take a step, literally our little meter goes down. So that guy is going away from us. So that's a good thing. Let's go ahead and try to go upstairs this time. I'm scared. There's somebody literally right on the other side of that door. What is this? So there's somebody right here. So I'm going to go left, obviously, because that's where I'm supposed to go. Oh no, it's locked. Crap. Oh shit. That's not a good thing. Alright, well I have to go that way. I'm just not sure how I'm supposed to get there. Oh no. Oh, wait a minute. There's a door right there. How will I bypass that though? So I'm assuming I have to go this. Oh no, he's coming this way. Get out of the way. Close the door, you lunatic. Oh, you fucked hard. Something's not. Right there. God no damn it. Allowed, citizen. I'm gonna need to see some identification. 
Uh, Dr. Etiquette can vouch for me. I may guess. She's still holding the ketchup packet incident over Holt's head, right? Uh, we yes. <laughs> she can't keep letting her special friends down here. I don't think I'm... I don't think I like your tone. Believe me, you're not the first. Just get out of here. I don't want to catch you hanging around. Fine. Hopefully I can, uh, get away with this. I think I'm going the wrong way, though, damn it. This isn't the way. Oh, I'm screwed. How would I get that way, though? Can I just jump down there? <laughs> You're not supposed to be here, are you? No, not really. Relax. How do you think I got here? I guess that's what I was wondering. Uh, you really think I got past all those other guards if I just didn't belong? When you put it that way, it does sound pretty unlikely. Still, you should go. I don't think the other guards will be as rational about this as I am. Okay, if you say so. Bye. I'm nervous. It's getting closer and closer. Holy shit, dude. We're literally here. Oh, come on. Let's go. Yeah, I don't care if I broke my damn legs. <laughs> How do I take it though? Uh. Well, what am I supposed to do with it? Let's see. You found an empty canister. There should be a way to transfer the. Okay, so I gotta find a computer or something. Oh, right there. Transfer. Yep. Transfer 100%. Well, this should be interesting. Did I just kill everybody? Oh, fuck, dude. I feel like shit. There's got to be a super secret way to get out of here. Oh, I found it. <laughs> nice. Woo, that was stressful. I just didn't want to go through it all again. So let's go. So now we got to go back to Phineas, right? Yep. Let's go. I'm done with this place. Terrified of these corporate commandos. I wonder what's going to happen, dude. Because this juice or whatever it is I got is pretty much what we needed to defrost all of my people. So it really should be interesting, dude, because I think we're already close to the end. What's gone into Bachmann? I, I legit don't know. I'm kind of curious to find out if this is going to be the last video. It kind of feels like it, man. It's been feeling like we were winding down for a bit already. And if it is, I mean, this game just... It's just amazing. I freaking love this game. Honestly, I'm probably going to continue playing and role-playing when I'm done with this playthrough, you know? ba ba da Ba, ba, ba. Any day now. These elevator rides take forever, man. I swear. 
It's one of the things I don't like about this game is the long elevator rides. So, in retrospect, they're probably not that long, but they feel long when you're just there waiting. Let's go. Alrighty. Felix and the vicar are arguing again. Yeah, they're they always a arguing. From adjutant Sophia Akande. Who's this? No one ever looks quite the same in person as they do in my reports. And my reports of you have been exceptionally thorough. I'm nervous. You've had quite a career. Uh, well, let's skip the pleasantries. You have something I want. I'd like to negotiate. I'm listening. Phineas Wells is wanted by the board. I want to convince you to turn him in to us. Uh, wanted for what exactly? He has a litany of charges against him. Vandalism, illegal experimentation, sedition. I could go on. Wells is a dangerous madman. His plan is going to endanger everyone in Halcyon. He's an obsessive psychopath. And he's using you. You're in contact with Wells. I want you to send us a tracing signal from his communication terminal. Uh... <laughs> Hold on. Getting a lot of noise on this signal. Could you fuck off and never call back? Thank you. You are making a serious mistake. Adjutant Akande's call has been terminated. Will there be <laughs> else, Captain? Nope. I think we're good. Let's go. Well, I definitely took a side now. Finish, you bastard. I'm on your side. You better not sell me out. This guy better not sell me out, dude. Because then I'm going to regret not selling, uh, turning him in. Finish, you bastard. You better not sell me out. Hiya! I've kept myself busy in your absence. Optimized my formula. I'm now confident I can revive the remaining colonists. All I need now is the dimethyl sulfoxide. I'll take as much as you can give me. Well, I found your chemicals in the ministry. The board was testing them on humans. I had to let the test subjects die, but I brought back all the chemicals they had. Thank you. You've brought me enough chemicals to get started, at least. I'm just sorry they came at the cost of human lives. Same. Those poor people, they must have died in agony. What exactly was the board trying to accomplish? Something about repeatedly reviving humans from extended hibernation. The colony's on the verge to collapse. The board's been trying to cover it up. I know. I've suspected as much for years. Of course, I don't expect the board to do a thing about it. They've been driving our colonies to the brink of destruction for decades. The board's mismanagement put our colony on the road to collapse. If we don't put a stop to them, thousands of colonists are going to die. It gets worse. The chairman's planning on freezing every worker in Halcyon. Out into space just to make room in their hibernation chambers. 
Uh oh. Uh, we've got to think about this. There has to be something we can do. Short of lining up every member of the board and shooting them in the back of the head. Do you know what's waiting for us on the Hope? Scientists, engineers, artists, the brightest minds Earth ever sent us, uncorrupted by the board. The board's going to dispose of them all and transform the Hope into a prison for the rest of us. They're likely on their way to the Hope as we speak. Oh, no. We need to get to those colonists before the board. I have enough chemicals to start reviving a few of them, but no easy way to get them off the Hope. <sighs> All right. I'm open to suggestions. All right. I've got it. We can't possibly take my lab and all my equipment to the Hope, yes? That would be insane, so we do the slightly less insane thing. Slightly we less. Bring the hope to us. Skip the entire ship across the distance of colony space, right next to my lab. Uh, I mean. Uh, all right. Walk me through this. If we link up the hope to the unreliable, then use your navigational computer to calculate a reasonably safe vector. We can skip the entire colony ship into the rings of Terra Two. I've got a healthy disregard for personal safety, but this sounds crazy, even to me. Your instincts are correct. By any reasonable definition of sanity, this plan is crazy. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> I don't understand a word you said, Doc. All I know is, if we're going to hijack a colony ship, count me in. <laughs> this dude is crazy as hell. Excellent. I approve of your enthusiasm, young man. You should ask your captain for a raise. Don't You'll tell him that. On the Hope's auxiliary power using the unreliable. Then head to the bridge. Your navigational computer, Ada, should be able to activate the Hope's skip drive. Once you've skipped the Hope next to my lab, I'll have easy access to the frozen colonists. I can start reviving them immediately. All right. All right, yeah, fuck it, let's do it. I know you're wondering why I'm doing all this. Why I believe the people on the Hope are the answer to the colony's problems. The Hope is carrying some of humanity's most brilliant thinkers, scientists, engineers, experts in their field. If we work together, we can still find a way to save Halcyon. The board would have us believe Halcyon is beyond saving. I choose to believe otherwise. If there's even the slightest chance we can save Halcyon from oblivion, then we have to take it. Uh, there's some reason you're hiding behind this bulletproof glass. Oh, it's not you. I uh, do experiments in that room. Some of them get quite scientific. The unexpected is to be treasured, but uh, from a safe distance. Regardless, it's quite comfortable in here, you know. I have my beans, have my caffeinoids, plenty of toilet paper. Um, all right, do this, do this. Well, this should definitely be interesting. What's the name of this mission anyways? It's called Kept Secret But Not Forgotten. Alrighty. This is going to be freaking weird, dude. We have to literally freaking kidnap an entire ship of people. But, alrighty, let's do it. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're always fighting. So where there it is the hope Man, all right, let's do this man We have arrived at the hope I need you to reroute power from our ship to the hopes auxiliary generator You'll have to connect me to the hopes comm system so I can convince her central computer to enable the skip drive Uh, What's what's gonna happen if I skip the hope? If your calculations are even slightly off, you could crash the entire colony ship into Terra too. Oh snap. Or the sun. Oh crap. Okay, let's do this. I'm nervous. Don't mind my saying, Captain. Minister Clark is lucky to have you on his side. Captain, 
I hope Dr. Wells has not dragged you into one of his irrational schemes again. My diagnosis of his mental stability is not flattering. <laughs> oh, he's crazy, but revolutionaries rarely are. Ah, but you know what? We're getting really close to time. So we're going to be calling it a day. This video is going to be slightly lower or less in length than some of the other videos. But you know what? I'm going to have to cut it here. And then probably just end it on the next video because it seems like we're about to finish the game. But if not, you know, obviously we'll have two more videos. But I think the next video is going to be the last video. So with that being said... Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.